Oops, what is this? This is solving systems by elimination. This is not a joke. You know what is a joke? Knock, knock, who's there? No one, because you're all alone. <laughs> That's not nice. All right, we're doing Algebra 1, 6-3, solving systems by elimination, okay? What does it mean to eliminate something? <laughs> Take it out, okay? In a video games world of video games, you, you, you go, you go, pew, 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 and you eliminate it. It means you take it out. That's essentially what we're doing. Okay, we just talked about um, solving systems by, you did graphing, and then I taught you uh, how to do it by um, substitution. Now we're doing it by elimination. All right, so to eliminate, you got x minus 2y equals negative 19. And then we've got 5x plus 2y equals 1. Now, when you want to solve this, still, my goal is to find out where these two lines cross. And to do that, I solve for x and y. Okay? If you solve for x and y, you can find where these two lines will cross each other. What you do with elimination, you want to get it to where either the x's or the y's are complete opposites of each other. This one, they already are. Negative 2y, positive 2y. If I added those together, what would happen? Elimination. They would cancel out. And you do not have to say elimination like that because it was weird. Okay? So, they eliminate each other. So what I do is I essentially add these two together. x plus 5x is 6x. Negative 2y plus 2y. That's going to be 0, so they cancel out. That's where the elimination comes in. And then negative 19 plus 1 is negative 18. Now just solve it. Divide by 6 on both sides. x equals negative 3. Now, I found my x. To find the y, all I do is plug that in for x in either equation that we started with. I think I'm going to do it into this one. It was easier. It was x minus 2y equals negative 19. Plug in negative 3 for x. <coughs> negative 3 minus 2y equals negative 19. I add 3 to that side. That's going to be negative 16 equals negative 2y. Divide by negative 2, y equals 8. Why did I write x there? That's stupid. Our x was negative 3, 8 is our y. That's where these two lines cross. Okay, let's do some more complicated ones. Any questions? <laughs> Doesn't matter because it's a video, so you can't actually ask them. But what, can you, what, can you, what you can do is you can learn... What? what crap did you just say? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, 3x plus 3y equals 15. And then negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 5. I don't know what I just said. Plus 3y equals negative 5. Okay, this one. Is anything in the opposite of each other? Nope, those aren't perfect opposites, and those are the exact same thing. If you have it where they're not, what you can do is you can multiply one or both of these by anything to make it to where you have opposites. Now, this is fairly easy. To make these opposites, all I gotta do is multiply one of them by, let's say I wanna get rid of the y's. I gotta make one of these negative three, right? I just multiply this by negative one. Which, I'm just writing the line to separate them, not actually adding them together. I'm going to distribute that negative 1 to all three of them. Even though I just want it on the negative 3y, or on the 3y, I still have to distribute it to the other two as well, or else I'm changing my problem. So negative 1 times negative 2x is 2x, negative 1 times that is negative 3y, and that becomes positive 5. I'm going to put this equation down here, 3x plus 3y equals 15. Now I can add these two together and do my elimination. Boom, those suckers get eliminated. That adds together is 5x. That adds together is 20. x equals 4. So I know my x is 4. To plug that in, all I do to find my y is plug that into either of these equations. Let's plug it in right here. It's too high? Nope. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3y equals 15. Subtract 12 to be 3. Divide and y equals 1. That's the point where these two lines cross. That's number one, okay? I mean, that's not number one. I just was saying that because it's a quote from a movie I like. Oops. 
All right, let's do one more. 2x plus 5y equals 26. <coughs> and then negative 3x minus 4y. Negative 25. Okay? Now, does this cancel these out? No. Do these cancel these out? No. Nobody cares about this. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. Now, I've already got opposites as far as positive and negative goes, but I need them to be the same number. I think the easiest way would be, I'm going to make the x's cancel each other out. Multiply that one by 3 and that one by 2, which means that I'm going to have 6x and negative 6x, which gives me my elimination that I want. So I distribute the 3 to all of those. So it would be 6x plus 15y equals 78, I believe. Okay? And then distribute there. So it would be negative 6x minus 8y equals negative 50. Now I add these two together. Which what's 6x plus negative 6x? Zero! Every day in Compton. In Arkansas. All right, so they cancel out, and that would be 7y equals 28. Divide by 7, y equals 4. So I've got the y. To find the x, I just plug that into either of these equations. This one looks prettier because there's no negatives. So plug it in for 4. It would be 2x. And then 5 times what I know is 4 is 20 equals 26 minus 20. And then divide by 2, x equals 3. These two lines cross at the coordinate 3, 4. And if you need any more math help, you can go to my website at tylertarver.com slash math. And you can get all the help you'll ever need that I have already got.